Good afternoon. Just finished another roadside lunch here on Geneva Road, north of Bee Ridge. Another beautiful day. This morning it was kind of cold again, really refreshing. Uh, but uh, something that isn't quite so refreshing is a little while ago I was reminded about something. I recall I mentioned in previous messages that the uh, campaign idea, though it makes sense that, that I realize that there's a lot of adversity, that one of the most loudly uh, uh, obvious uh, aspects of the uh, adversity is being loudly harassed at by persons that can hit, uh, conceal themselves in traffic. What they do is they <clears throat> get into the traffic broadcasting and uh, you know if anyone else is around uh, anyone else hears it also. It's almost uh, you know it's similar to uh, others using uh, like a PA uh, address system. And what uh, they're uh, insisting about this time <clears throat> saying threat about me getting angry when they continue to do it to me late at night. And uh, they're really very intransigent at night. Uh, during the day, I oftentimes uh, 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 edit and, uh, and uh, type uh, a number of pages from journals of the past that I forward for a hopeful, hopefully for a case against the uh, uh, harassment. And the, like I say, the person participating in it from former family and their associates but they like to say intense against their own government and, and population at the same time. So what I uh, what I believe is a, a solid abuse case uh, is also on behalf of millions of others. So I forward the uh, material as carefully typed and particularly prepared as I can through the day, and then at night what happens is the retaliation starts. The uh, various, uh, whomever, it varies from night to night, but every night, as soon as I'm out of sight of the public, uh, is that they start. They they uh, install themselves into air conditioning systems and then they focus from uh, uh, the traffic. And uh, a thing they use is uh, absolutely infuriatingly saying the same words over and over again. Last night, after a while, I, I, I keep a journal that's... Uh, something of a summary of what I experienced, but in the evening, after they've said the word Marines a hundred or a couple hundred times, I just get tired of, uh, you know, I just get tired of trying to accomplish anything, and I usually set the pen aside, you know. Uh, at night, by 12, 1 o'clock in the morning, there's a few jots that they're saying the same words again, and uh, what, they, what they do is they like to provoke me to say angry words, and because they're provided by an operation, they can argue at me. So every night, they're really, if they had been on the scene on any of the nights through all of the years, they'd have been arrested for trespassing. And they'd have also been arrested as an assault. You know, they're always forcing me to have to argue back at them. And they're always wanting to say threats. And then when I when I talk back, especially about their uh, intransigent, uh, subversive, uh, corrupt uh, uh, Marine argument, is they like to uh, start uh, threatening me about me being angry at them. And that's what happened again today. As I was nearing here, they get into the traffic sound and saying, "What you said, at, what you said back at us last night, we're going to torture you, Ralph." You know. So, uh, as I reported for years, one of their favorite uh, threats is, and I believe that it could be that they're serious if they ever had uh, actual power, is that they like to say torturing threats, and they've been saying them at me for years. And they're very egotistical and arrogant. Uh, when I start talking at them, against them, they like to, if they can, if they're able, that they broadcast interruption in at my throat, at my nose, around me, to emphasize words that I say as though I'd be talking against myself uh, instead. So, like I say, they are very provocative, and each night, any detail that's against them in this, these journals, anything that I forward that is against them in any way, is they retaliate. And then they act as though they have negated it because they themselves uh, portray themselves as being official in some way. And that they decide that what I say back at them effectively negates anything else that I might have otherwise said. So every day, it's kind of a, a uh, <clears throat> it's kind of like a battle, you know. They attack during the day to disrupt until I get my mind occupied to work on the, uh, these days, the past couple of months, I've been working a lot of, on these uh, video messages. Uh, otherwise, usually, it's a matter of working on the journals. Journals are testimony, summary, and example samples of quotes that I heard 
uh, previously through the months and years before. So when I get finished with that, by the end of the day, when it gets to the nighttime, is that invariably they start an attack as soon as I'm out of sight of public. And it forces me to argue, it forces angry words, that they then say that they're judging against me about it. And what uh, commonly uh, said theme pertained to the uh, operation that they inflicted into me during high school is that they actually allege that they have a secret headquarters in Seabrook. And that what they like to do is be exactly opposite of everything of this. Just out of spite, or whether it's their actual opinions or not, that they prefer to be exactly opposite of anything of this, and that they keep recordings of everything. All through the years, ever since I was a teenager, they allege that in Sebring they have a secret headquarters associated with William Love, who is of national corruption, and that they've been recording, invading my privacy, even to the extent of recording through all of my life. Now, I believe that there is a case in progress with the, defense, uh, the Department of Justice. They're busy with all kinds of other matters. If they inform me overtly about anything, it would be immediately known to all of the uh, all of the harassing fans. So I'm having to cope about it. So, but while I'm coping, while I'm coping about it, is that I'm also working on this case. It's on behalf of our nation and our people. Millions of people who have been threatened by the same assailants I've been describing in this. So anyway, I just wanted to explain, pertaining to the rumors of me sounding belligerent at night is that the only times it happens is because I'm being insulted and, and trespassed and argued at. They're out, absolutely outrageous. They're a terrible offense. And I, I honestly don't understand why nothing's done about them, except they like to tout being official corruption. So anyway, that's what I'm up against, one of the adversities that will become ob more obvious to others as the campaign continues. That... Uh, Heckling, harassing from traffic broadcasting, using extraordinary means to conceal their identities, is that it'll become more known, and I, I'm hoping that, that uh, progress against them will be uh, a lot faster starting in the uh, weeks and months to come. I'm hoping everyone is safe, having a good day, and that the uh, corruption isn't being able to squander our nation into a terrible war.